What is going on guys? Just got the tail light and the final rear turn signal bolted up. Well, it was a couple weeks since I last posted, but I was waiting for these parts um, for a while. They're not knockoffs. They're not, um, you know, some third party manufacturer. They are um, original genuine parts is from another DT-250-77 that someone was parting out that I got on eBay for 90 bucks, $90 shipped. So that was pretty cool. Super nice, really good shape. These are um, pretty hard to find, actually. Uh, I think people take them off to, to race these bikes or do whatever, um, or they break or, or whatever. Um, didn't come in any hardware, so I went over to the local hardware store and got some six millimeter bolts and a couple nuts and a couple washers and just put them on together. So, same with the top, six millimeters right up in there. I had this turn signal original to the bike, um, finally tightened that up so it's not loose anymore. A little faded, but not the end of the world. Um, this turn signal is in awesome shape. It really looks new compared to this one. As you can see, it's a little, you know, it's not the greatest in comparison. It's a little faded here, but um, both of the arms are, are pretty nice. Um, this one I got from the same guy that had the tail light. Um, it was the whole piece, the bracket and the light came together, which was awesome. I just said, I'm going to I'm gonna bite the bullet and get it. Um, this is another original piece that I got, original to the bike. You can always tell um, originality by the wires. So, right there, just ran this wire up in there. You can even see. I said I would get better light. Um, I have just been super busy and super preoccupied. This is the only light I have up here. So, we're working on it, guys, we're working on it. <laughs> Um, but anyway, just wanted to give you a quick overview of the bike now that she is essentially a hundred percent complete cosmetically, I should say, um, I just have to get a battery, but all this stuff is running off the magneto now. So it's running good. It's running good and everything looks good. So this is a, this is a huge, a huge step forward. Um, it may not seem like a big deal but if you look in my last video you'll see this brake light and the left turn signal on the back not on and it just it just doesn't look right without that stuff in my opinion you know a lot of people just strip all the lights off and and just ride these things as they are which is cool but you know if i was going to do that i would just you know i'd get a tt 500 or something um 400 whatever they were I'm thinking of the XT500, which is a four-stroke. But, um, yeah, you know, if it's got lights, I'd leave them on. So, anyway, that's just me rambling, babbling, whatever you want to call it. Um, anyway, so I will be taking another video shortly when I get the battery all hooked up. Everything behind the battery casing here is in nice shape. Super clean. Just got to get a new... Um, acid battery. I'm probably going to get one off of eBay. There's a couple brands I'm looking at, but they're, they're pretty inexpensive. I think they're around 25 or $30. Um, and then I'll load it up with the battery acid, charge it up and put it in and she'll be done. Um, just got to do a few, uh, a few fluid changes. I'm going to change the oil and change the transmission fluid. Um, and I'm also going to change the fork oil, um, just to, just to do it. I don't think it's ever been done. Um, Real quick, if you guys don't know how to change the fork oil, it's super easy. You're gonna pop off this bolt on the top of the fork. So the fork cap, I should say. Again, I know it's dark, I'm sorry about that. But you're gonna pop off this bolt. Um, and then down here, I'm literally in this garage of mess, or the shed of mess, right there, there's a Phillips head screw. So you're gonna take that Phillips head screw out and let the fork oil drain, uh, drain not join. I'm super tired, sorry. Um, you're gonna let that drain. Same thing on the other side. And 
make sure you get all the oil out and then you're going to load it up with some uh some fresh oil i think it takes 10w30 if i'm not mistaken i'll i'll put it in the description when i figure it out but um you know getting late on a saturday night just wanted to give you guys an update and let you know how she was doing we're getting there we're getting there thanks for hanging with me guys take it easy